Hey guys, this is Nicole. I am coming to you on my vacation in Las Vegas, and I wanted to share a health tidbit that I am experiencing and learning on my own, and I've also was asked this question, so it brings uh, to mind for me to share this to you. The question was, how do you stay so skinny, but still eat the good food that you do? Hey, great question, and I'll take it as a compliment too. Thank you. Uh, yes, I am posting amazing food uh, while being on vacation. I still eat good food, not being on vacation. But the biggest lesson that I'm also learning from my health coaching program that I'm studying in at the Institute of Integrative Nutrition is that health is a journey, not a destination. When we make something a destination, it becomes a place where we need to be. There is this picture that we want and if we're not there, we haven't reached it. Health is not that way. It is a journey. It is a long road that we are on. It has ups and downs, rocks, potholes. It also has beautiful pastures and greenery and paved roads. So there's going to be good and bad times on our health journey. And I've come to accept that. I don't always have to eat kale every single day. It doesn't make me a picky eater being healthy. It doesn't mean I can't eat fried foods. It can't mean, it doesn't mean I can't have sugar, although sugar is really hard on my body. So I'm really trying to cut that out, but it's a journey and there's a long road and I will be on this health journey until I leave this earth. God will. And so you can actually eat sometimes, quote unquote, let's say unhealthy foods and still be on a health journey, right? Maybe uh, sometimes for, I'll have a breakfast, it's a smoothie. Um, maybe I won't have a snack, definitely not a sugary snack, which I used to do a lot. My lunch will be a good healthy salad. And then maybe for dinner, that's where you can quote unquote pig out. And then the next day, maybe for a breakfast, you have a, a nutritious breakfast. So just because you have one bad meal doesn't make you unhealthy. And so we've got to get that out of our heads. This is a journey. And one moment does not define you. One of the tips that um, we love to do is pasta. Everybody loves pasta, but they're like, oh, it's bad for you. Da, da, da. It gives you, and people, you know, maybe eat pasta for carbs, although vegetables give you carbs too. But there's something about a pasta dish at Olive Garden that is very different about a pasta dish at an authentic Italian restaurant. And that's where we will eat that pasta. So maybe to you look like, oh, it's so bad. That doesn't look good for you. Oh yeah, I know it is because they're importing their flour from Italy. So there's like probably no gluten in it. It's better quality and the ingredients that they're putting in the pasta, the sauces, it's probably organic or probably better than organic. And so it's better for our bodies. It's less on our digestive system. That's also how we're able to eat, quote unquote, maybe good foods that look unhealthy, but they actually are because they're better ingredients because we're going to better quality restaurants. I will be very happy to spend five extra dollars on a better quality pasta than maybe at another restaurant that doesn't have as better of a quality. For me, that $5 is 100% worth it. I will do it, but it's just up to us and the decisions that, that we make. And so again, health is a journey. It is not a destination. So I am enjoying my vacation, what I eat. I am not worried. I'm not breaking my conscience or whatever it is, because again, it is about the little choices and I'm balancing it all out and choosing better quality restaurants than let's say, I don't know, whatever you wanna call it out there. You won't find me at Denny's or Olive Garden, guys. <laughs> All right, I'll check in with you next time. Thanks for joining me.